If you mention Italy to anyone, chances are amongst pizza, pasta and wine, you will hear the magical words, the Amalfi. It's a bucket list holiday destination for many for a very good reason. The views are spectacular and there's no denying it is an iconic slice of Italy. But having lived with the Amalfi on my doorstep for four years, here's why I don't think it's all it's cracked up to be as a holiday destination and why I think you'll get more bang for your buck if you stay somewhere else. Now, just for clarity, I'm talking about Amalfi. The Amalfi Coast is made up of a number of towns, including the glamorous Positano, Ravello, Maori, and its lesser known sibling, Viatri. More on this hidden gem later. But here, I'm focusing on Amalfi itself, because you know, it's the Amalfi. So let's get into the reasons why I think Amalfi is better for the day, rather than to stay. So reason number one is, it's expensive. It kind of goes without saying that you can expect to pay more in Amalfi just because it's the Amalfi, but how much more? Let's take a look at some accommodation. In what is considered a peak period, August, we're going to look at the first week in August, a period of six nights for two people, and we're going to have a look at what the top end accommodation is in that area and what the lower end value of accommodation is in that area we're going to compare it to another town nearby which i actually think is a much better base for your holiday so let's take a little look so let's start with the most expensive form of accommodation that i found and it is the rather magnificent five-star hotel borgo sant andrea with an equally impressive price tag of 14,840 euro for six nights for two adults. And with that magnificent price tag, you have a superior double room. Now, of course, it goes without saying a five-star hotel. You can imagine the amenities and luxuries that come with it. But still, that is an exceptionally high price tag for a double room. So let's contrast it then with the lowest price accommodation that I could find for the same period, and it is L'Antigo Borgo de Limoni. Um, 707 euro for the same period of time. Now, similar to the five-star hotel, both of these places are not in the center center of Amalfi. They're just a little bit out of the main center, just over two kilometers for each location. So you can see the price difference already between highest and lowest end properties. So let's compare it to a neighboring town or city, because it is a small city, Salerno, which I actually think is a far better place to base yourself. So let's see what top end and low end prices look like for the same period in Salerno. So top end price, I found this apartment. It's actually a three bedroom apartment. The entire apartment for 1,915 euro. It's very close to the beach and a lot closer to the center of Salerno, just 200 meters. Let's compare it then with the cheapest form of accommodation that I could find in Salerno for the same period. And it is this, it is a superior double room for 389 euros so you can see the price difference is isn't even comparable if you plan to come to visit the amalfi salerno is clearly more value for money compared to staying in the amalfi itself reason number two is actually for the location if you are after a relaxing holiday eating drinking spending time under the sun amalfi is perfect However, if you want to explore a little bit, here's where it gets a little tricky. Amalfi isn't easily accessible to neighboring towns. In fact, the only way to access the Amalfi is by road, with a car, bus or taxi, or by boat. If you want to explore a nearby city, such as Naples, for example, you will need to take a boat or bus to Salerno and then take the train or another bus to Naples. It's just a little bit disjointed. The last thing you want to be doing on holiday is stressing about whether you're going to make your connections. And so for this, I feel that if you choose to stay in Amalfi, that's kind of where you're going to spend the majority of your holiday. It's not going to be as easy to explore neighboring towns unless you choose to literally base your holiday along the Amalfi coast and visit each of the towns by boat or bus. Reason number three, tourists. Yes, I know, you are a tourist too, 
but you know what it's like when you stay in a place that is always packed with people. The experience suddenly becomes a whole lot more stressful. You have to be really organized with booking tables in restaurants. You have to fight for your space to take photographs in beautiful, iconic spaces. And boats and buses fill up really quickly. Not to mention beaches. The beaches along the Amalfi Coast are small, and so especially during peak season, you'll have to be up at the crack of dawn in order to find a space. Also, and probably for me, something that is most important is that I truly believe that in towns like this, you don't really see real Italy. You are very much in a tourist bubble. Now, as a tourist, you don't necessarily notice this. Amalfi looks and feels just like the Italy we have grown up to believe is real. However, take it from me, if you spend time in a less touristical part of Italy, you will get to experience the real heart and soul of the country, and it feels totally different. So reason number four is for driving and parking. If you plan to drive along the iconic Amalfi Coast, please be aware that it is a very narrow road with cars that can travel in both directions. If you encounter traffic, you are unable to turn your car around and head back in the opposite direction. You are stuck there until the traffic moves again. The Amalfi Drive also isn't for everyone. There are plenty of stomach flipping twists and turns, combined with the remarkably daring skills of Italian drivers, as well as the fact that you also share the road with large buses. It's honestly enough to make your head spin. Added to all of this are the new traffic reduction measures on the Amalfi Drive, which limits access to certain days and times depending on the registration plate of your vehicle. So there is a lot to consider. I honestly think traveling by moped is the best way to see the Amalfi Drive if you want to. But let's say you are set on driving your car along the Amalfi Drive. What happens when it is time to park? Parking is single-handedly the biggest headache along the Amalfi Coast. The cost per hour is ridiculous if you are lucky to find a space at all. And please don't think just because you're in Italy, you can get away with parking anywhere. In the Amalfi, the police are ready to pounce with tickets. It's the one place they actually move. So with all this said and done, if your heart is still set on staying along the Amalfi, where is best? I actually recommend Via Tri Sal Mare, or Via Tri for short. It is the first Amalfi coastal town outside of Salerno, and it is also the home of the most beautiful ceramics. It is the only Amalfi coastal town with a train station, so you can easily explore other neighboring towns, as well as having both bus and boat connections. It's less busy compared to Amalfi, and you get to experience, in my opinion, more of real Italy here. However, if you are looking for the best value for money though, I recommend Salerno. Salerno is so underrated, but I hope with my videos on this channel, I have started to show you just why that shouldn't be the case. Salerno is in a fantastic position. It has a train station with trains to both neighboring towns as well as to other parts of Italy. You can get a boat to the Amalfi Coast with Travel Mar, which is both inexpensive and has a really regular service. Or you can take the bus if you're feeling brave. There is an immaculate Lungomare with a beach, although it may not be the best beach in the world, but take it from a Londoner. I thought it was pretty amazing when I first arrived. There's also Piazza della Liberta, which is the largest piazza in Europe with a wonderful panoramic view of Salerno. You have shops and local services at your convenience. And most importantly, most importantly, in Salerno, you get to experience real Italy. It is nowhere near as touristical as its brothers and sisters, but it is an incredible place for you to experience the heart and soul of what Italy is as a country. And all of this at a fraction of the cost.